Iron Supporting Food Banks collects food and cash donations for needy families in Newham Borough and beyond. Please consider making a donation via their Just Giving page, the link for which you will find in the description section of this stream. Come on you Irons! Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to the West Ham Massive. Thank you for joining me. Please don't forget to like, comment on and share this stream to your social media platforms. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the bell icon for alerts and new content. All these things are free to do. Take a couple of seconds and they help grow the channel. We've just broken through the 1,000 subscribers mark. It's a real big milestone for us. Thank you very much for joining us on this journey. So this particular one that I'm going to do, this particular recording I'm going to do today, normally a lot of the recordings that I do tend to revolve around transfers and rumours and all the rest of it, which I've done quite a lot of lately. And there'll be some more coming. But I felt that there was a need for me to do this stream because I think that this is actually something that's far, far more important than all of those things. And it's about the the petition that's going at the moment, the concessions that have been taken away by the club and obviously also the the price rises of the season tickets up to 27%, well, well above inflation. The club have now done something of a backtrack on, on what they've done. For those of you that don't know, there was a removal of concession tickets. So we're talking OAPs, we're talking disabled we're talking the children, young children, the future generation of supporters. And the concession tickets have been removed in all but the sort of that the bands that are sort of like up in the gods, basically where I sit, to be honest with you. And it, it just beggars belief because could you imagine sort of like asking someone that's in a wheelchair to go up to where I sit in row 73 of the London Stadium or an 80 year old gentleman whose legs are shot to bits? It's just completely ridiculous. Um, they, they've done something of a, of a partial back down of, of, of sorts, if you will. And what they've agreed to do is they're going to restore price concessions. The club, this is, um, they're going to restore all price concessions for all match tickets outside of season tickets, starting with the home match against Chelsea. This is, this is a direct quote, um, to virtually the same status as per last season. Now, a couple of things I have a problem with there. It's great that they're backing up. I think that possibly they're realising the error of their ways. Too little, too late, in my view. Should never have happened in the first place, but um, it's progress of sorts. But here's the problem. Um, my concern is the, the wording of virtually the same status as per last season. Well, what does that even mean? What do you mean virtually? It either is the same status or it isn't virtually would suggest that it isn't. Um, and if it isn't, then then what is the difference? Where, where's the, the devil's always in the detail? That's that's the saying. Um, also, the, the other thing is to note is that it's starting with the home match against Chelsea. Now, later on in this statement I'm reading, which is on Claret and Hugh, it goes on to say that any supporters who have purchased match tickets for Aston Villa or Man City home games, which are prior to the Chelsea game, they're not going to get any refunds. So as far as those supporters are concerned, tough titty, you, you, you're out of luck. You, we've, we've got your money and we're not really interested. You can get stuffed. Just displays a complete lack of any sort of consideration for the, the supporters that support the team through thick and thin. Um, completely ridiculous decision. Um, you know, if, if you're going to sort of back up, then you need to back up all the way. You need to come back to or, or, or stick to your guns. Um, this is a little bit of a halfway house. I, for me, I just think it's completely 
Um, just completely ridiculous, if I'm being completely honest with you. Now, here's the important things, guys. And it's really important that you're on, on board with this one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to share with you the change.org petition. Now, for those of you that don't know, so I'm just going to go full screen with this. So this is the change.org petition that is currently running to oppose the season ticket price rises, which, as I say, are in some cases up to 27% greater than last season, well above the rate of inflation, and also the changes to the concession tickets. As I say, they are starting to back the truck up on that, but we need to keep the pressure on this, ladies and gentlemen, make no mistake. Currently, there's 16,706 signatories. Now, I have been asking the question, how we've got approximately 50 odd thousand season ticket holders that go to the stadium every other week and we've only got 50 uh, 16,706 signatories now one of the things that could be going on and I, I hadn't actually stopped to consider this but a few people have pointed it out so I think I need to get this out there and hopefully if there's anybody out there that this message resonates with then then I'll have done my bit but what you need to do, as you can see there, you've got to put in your name, you've got to put in your address, uh, sorry, you've got to put in your email address, and it says there at the bottom, after signing, check your email inbox to confirm your signature. It won't count otherwise. Now, I think that's quite important because I have a suspicion that what's actually happening is that there are people that are filling this in and are then not checking their emails. They're not doing the final little bit to confirm the signature on the position. Now, obviously, then what it was it says there is that your vote then your won't count on the petition. So it's like you've never signed it. So you've gone through the effort of putting your name, putting your email address, but then because you haven't confirmed the signature in your email, it then doesn't count. So if there's anybody that's watching this that wants to support this, and to be honest with you. If you're if you're watching this, I'm guessing you're a West Ham fan. Um, if you're not a West Ham fan, then rest assured, if this happens here, um, it might not be happening at your club right now. But as sure as eggs is eggs, this is going to come in your club. If you're watching this and you're an Arsenal fan, you're a Tottenham fan, you're a Millwall fan, you're a Doncaster Rovers fan, whatever. And you're sitting there and you're saying to yourself, doesn't affect me. It's your problem, not my problem. Trust me, guys, this will come to you if it starts here and it's all it's happened at Wolves as well. There's other clubs that are bringing this in. And if this gets pushed through, this will come to a place, a club near you before you're very much older. Trust me. So we need to be as one with this. The footballing family needs to be as one and stand up to these people and push back and make them know that this is not acceptable. So please, please, please. Um, go on to the change.org website. I will put the link to this in the description section when this video goes out. That will be there. You can click on that. You can go to this petition. Please put in your name. Please put in your email. Once you've submitted it, then you can make, make sure you go to your emails. Make sure you confirm the signature. The other thing also, just to put people's minds at rest, it will ask if you want to make some sort of donation towards the, the fighting fund. You don't have to do that. You're not obligated to do that. But what would be a great idea to try and raise the awareness about this petition would be to share this petition onto your social media platform. So whether that's your Facebook, your Twitter, Instagram, et cetera, et cetera, just to make sure that there's as many people as possible that are on board with this. I do have a suspicion that there are actually quite a lot of people, probably people that have got season ticket holders, that are season ticket holders, that probably don't even know that this petition's ongoing. So please, please, please sign this petition. Make sure you confirm it with the email after you've submitted it, because otherwise your vote won't count and you've wasted your time. And make sure that you keep we keep the pressure on, guys. And as I say, if you're watching this and you're not even a fan of West Ham and you're a fan of another club, I would still please implore you to sign this petition because, as I say, this is an attack on football by the people that are in positions of power that ought to know better. So 
we need to be as one on this. The football family needs to come together. Um, and, and that's pretty much the end of that, really. Um, so, guys, I'm going to leave that with you. Um, as I say, I will put the link to the change.org petition in the description section below. I would encourage every single one of you to get on that and sign it. And let's get that number bumped up and get it moving in the right direction. They're on the run. Let's keep them on the run. Let's keep them backtracking and let's try and get us back to where we were last season with concessions. You can get them in all the bands, not just in, in the bands where you're at the back of the stadium and things like that. And all right, they're turning around now and saying they're bringing it in for, for match tickets. But then we're talking about match tickets day to day. They're not bringing it back for season tickets as far as that statement is concerned on Claret and Hugh. So let's keep going, guys. Let's keep pushing back. Let's force them into a retreat whilst they're they're on the back pedal. And uh, let's let's see if we can sort of get back to where we were before. Guys, thank you very much for listening to me. Getting on my soapbox a little bit, but I do feel quite passionate about this. This is this is something that's vitally important, guys, because as I say, you're talking about people that have supported the club for many years, people who are less able-bodied than you and I and the future generation. They're the ones being targeted, guys. So let's try and help them out. Please, as well as that, please don't forget to like, comment on and share this stream to your social media platforms. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the bell icon for alerts and new content. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you very much indeed for your support in these actions. They take a couple of seconds. They're free of charge to you and it helps grow the channel. Thank you very much indeed. I'm going to disappear now, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks very much for your time. Don't forget to give your support to the Iron Supporting Food Banks charity. Come on, you Irons. See you next time. Iron Supporting Food Banks collects food and cash donations for needy families in Newham Borough and beyond. Please consider making a donation via their Just Giving page, the link for which you will find in the description section of this stream. Come on, you Irons.